Hello everyone. Today we're looking at the 2020 Toyota Sequoia Platinum. Now the Platinum is in fact the top of the line trim of the Sequoia. And it has a starting MSRP of $66,150. Now under the hood you do get a 5.7 liter V8 engine that produces 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. You only get four exterior color options, but you do get three interior color options. There is no packages for this vehicle, so MSRP comes up to $67,545. Now let's go ahead and start it up. Since it is a wonderful Toyota and it is the top of the line platinum trim, you can see it is very luxurious in here. The steering wheel is very nice. Your interface slash infotainment system is placed perfectly. All your nice and large knobs. Everything is in a perfect place. Perfect size, perfect position. Everything is perfect in the interior of the Sequoia Platinum. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the headlights, fog lights, and hazards. And both of the front windows are fully automatic up and down. As you can see, it does have a midnight black exterior with your 20 inch alloy wheels. And this SUV lies between the Highlander and Land Cruiser. So this is one of Toyota's full size SUVs. I really do like this midnight black metallic exterior color. MPG wise, you do get 13 miles a gallon in the city and 17 on the highway. Now you know in some SUVs, you can fit seven people, right? This one can do the same thing, but everyone's going to be comfortable. Unlike in some other SUVs, the third row passengers are very cramped, but here it's complete opposite. Everyone has lots of space. I think this is a great SUV to buy because of its reliability, durability, practicality, spacious it has a great interior and it's under seventy thousand dollars you get a lot for your money with this vehicle now let's go and check out the very luxurious interior your door panels leather right here there's no hard touch except on the places you expect it are you in the controls and you do get two memory seat settings As you can see, it does have a red rock and black leather interior combination. Let's go ahead and close the door. Turn off our headlights, hazards, and fog lights. Your gauges, I really love these gauges. They are very nice. And it does have a four-spoke leather and wood-wrapped steering wheel. Extremely nice horn. With all your zero amount of controls to interact with the screen in the middle and your infotainment system. An air vent right here and another one right here. Your very nice touchscreen, 
it does have navigation as you can see home and then you have destination audio AM FM Sirius XM Bluetooth phone apps remote connect notifications and Wi-Fi this vehicle has Wi-Fi also projection information your economy information traffic incidents weather your settings you can control everything on the infotainment system right here audio AM FM series exam Bluetooth all those things and also your navigation once again You do get tri-zone climate control. The AC is freezing cold, typical Toyota. You do get three-stage heated and ventilated seats for the driver and front passenger. Here you control the temperature. And I really like the display that they used to display the temperature. It's very nice. You do get three USB ports as well as a 12 volt power outlet right here. Tow haul mode, all wheel drive settings. And you can actually raise and lower the vehicle as much as you want. That's a Lexus feature. Your Eco Normal Sport Mode, or select it with that knob. Your ginormous gear shifter. It has a six speed automatic transmission. And when you place it into reverse, it does have a nice and high res backup camera. You can see all the dealership cars behind it. Cubby space, two cup holders, one cup holder right here, and an enormous armrest. It has very comfortable and very spacious. Two pockets right here. And it's so large in here, you can even fit a dog, a small puppy. But I wouldn't recommend that, it's just n not a good idea. Tovo power outlet is right here. Nice and plush armrests. And your club box. Typical Toyota, they have very large club boxes. With your three garage door settings with a compass. And two lights, SOS button and your panoramic sunroof. Your sunglasses holders right here. Here's a peek of your sunroof. Fortunately, I couldn't open it. Your sun visor. It does slide. All your mirror controls and lighting controls. Now let's go ahead and check out the second row. You also got a push pedal parking brake, which is much better than an electronic parking brake because an electronic parking brake is going to break over time. As you can see in the second row, you do get captain's chairs And I have lots of room back here. The seats lined up with the B pillar. And I have a tremendous amount of room back here. 
all your HDMI ports, your climate controls right here. All your different zones. And you can adjust the volume of the CD that is playing, of those knobs. Your two cup holders and all weather floor mats. Two cup holders right here with high and low setting heated seats. And another armrest right here. Here's your remote control. And now your manuals. And on the armrest, you do get a Sequoia badge imprinted on it. So what I was talking about, about all the controls, here you actually have your entertainment screen, like a little TV. Lots of full-size SUVs and minivans have that. So now let's go ahead and check out the third row. So you know how I said earlier in the video that everyone is comfortable inside of here? Well, it's true. Look, I'm five foot four and I have lots of room. Two cup holders. Two more cup holders over there. And two lights up here. And here's what it looks like from the third row. Now let's go ahead and check out that cargo space. Now, unfortunately, I did see that the power lift gate is broken, which is kind of strange on a 13,000 mile car. That's just a minor problem with the car. Everything else is in perfect working condition. As you can see, you do get your power folding seats. The car will beep by you if you move the seats and it will continuously beep if you put the seats in a bad position. There is a little bit of storage space down here. And you also get a 12 volt power outlet. So very versatile trunk space. You can fit lots of items. And with the third roll down, you can fit a lot more items. But with the third row up, you can still fit plenty of things. Now let's go ahead and shut it down. Thank you so much for watching this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave your car review suggestions in the comments below. And I'm going to rate this SUV a 10 out of 10 because it scores everything that I would want in a car. Thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye.